As I drive along the countryside near the town, I came across this cottage that you can buy for around $5,300. Since I'm short on cash, I have to do some more grinding on my maple syrup, french fries, and street races to purchase this place. Hey guys, it's Trice here, and let's start our day off this 9 p.m. where it's currently raining, and currently with our maple syrup reservoir, which we have to drive up there to get our barrels and all that stuff. We're almost full for a current maple syrup reservoir, and since the vacuum pump is going and this thing is turned on, because my generator is on at the um, mobile home, I got confused with the freaking cottage. So let's put some of the wood in here in the furnace and get this going while I drive to the Maple Syrup Federation to recover my three barrels that I sold yesterday for $600. So here's our three pieces of wood. I might as well do four just to overheat the furnace by a little bit on purpose. So I can consistently get this going with the reservoir as it produces and all that good stuff produces the maple syrup. And when I get back from the Federation and to the Sugar Shack as so, this thing will be going, producing, and it'll stay warm. So I don't have to do that process yet again by shoving more wood in, use a bap torch, and get that all going just to restart the furnace. So here are my three barrels. I'm also going to go inside and purchase, I believe, the tubing rolls for the rest of the trees that I don't have connected in my maple syrup Federation or my, uh, Maple Syrup Empire, my network that I got going here. So my boy Eric, what are you going to sell me this time? Cutting Edge by Sugar Shackle. I already got this. And I'm a broke ass yet again because I already got this installed. So tipping roll, will that be all? Probably. Alright, Mr. Truck, let's fill this bad boy up. Seeing in about a quarter of a tank of gas left in this boy. And who that, Mr. Ram? No, Mr. Generic Honda Accord with... A Chevy Venture looking van in the background, aka the Opal Centro if you're in Europe. So since I'm stingy, let's put thirty dollars. Thirty dollars exactly to fuel and no 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 dude. There you go. And let's fill this bad boy up for exactly seventeen sixty six. So I think that's seventeen sixty six. Yep. Total of gas I put in. So thirty dollars in the truck, seventeen sixty six in the gas can, so in total was seventeen or forty seven dollars and sixty six cents. Alrighty, back at HQ, and was there water flowing? Uh, get out of your gas can. Was there water flowing right here, or was I tripping? I think one of the two. So let's not hesitate, put some wood in here, and where's the furnace at? 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's going to be at 220. And our maple syrup reservoir is just about full. Let's put a couple barrels in here and fill these two up, or two barrels. We just only need two of them to fill up. And maybe a third one, hopefully, and do some street races, and definitely buy the cottage just outside of town by the junker. You can see here with this map here. That's my flashlight, so here with this map, where it says Javol, if I'm saying this right in French, which means I want, or something like that, or translate to in English. On the top right portion of the map, the big circle on Javol, that is where the cottage is located. And I believe with the cottage, there is some, like, upgrades you could do for the... Whiskey Edward, or Whiskey Echo Echo Delta, aka the Wii Dealers, where you can buy upgrades to the cottage, and I believe get access to the bunker where you can grow your rowing operations over there. We're gonna be doing all the maple syrup and the potatoes, sell the potatoes in town and all good stuff. I could sell that Whiskey Echo Echo Delta and make big buck out of it. So anyways, it's another good way of making money other than sticking to the basic core concepts of just the syrup, the fries, and the street races. We can do more than just those right there. Alright, so tubing roll for these remaining trees that I have uh, couldn't connect in the last video. So I think I... And wait. First, unconnect this. And then grab this bad boy. Boom. Drop it off here. And then connect four. Connect three. Connect two. One. Buzzer beater. And currently, oh, it stopped raining. And currently, I think these are the trees that I got all connected as of right now. I haven't even planted any more trees at the moment. So let's just put this bad boy right here. And let's check the, oh, excuse me, check the thingy out back to pump. So where are we at? Um, 159, what? Okay, we're good. 159 trees connected, which is what? Damn you good. No more word is needed, which is pretty much God tier according to the game right here. It also about this sugar tank right here. This is pretty much 100% full as of right now, but on Monday, currently it's a Wednesday, but on Monday, a couple days ago in game, this was pretty much at like the black bar or holder thing it was at. It was just below right here, maybe like 10%, 50%. And it seems like within a few game hours, it's been filled up to the top of it here. So probably sooner or later in the future, I'm probably going to buy another of these uh, water, um, sugar water tanks right here and have two of them connected to the system. 
So it's probably wait up here for a couple in-game hours and hopefully sell all three barrels here to get $600 and do a street raise for about $1,000 or even more with my boy Tom, Luke, and definitely Michael where his ass is going to get smoked with my racing Kone that I got in the garage way in the back. So anyways, let's fill up all these barrels and hopefully sell all three of them at the Federation. Alright, so approach the Federation, make this hard stop here. I got all three barrels that I got right here, all at 100% full of the maple syrup. So let's yeet the first barrel, boom, first, second, boom, third, boom. You're gonna get paid on every Sunday for a few weeks, come back in the next business day to collect the empty barrel. Yes, sir. So let's go back to the house, do some quick remedies with the sugar shack and all good stuff, and do a street race, or two, or maybe three. And since we're going to be buying the cottage, which contains the weed operations and all that stuff, I'm going to be planting these seeds here, these magic seeds, and then... There. I think I'm going to be planting some of these seeds for the Canopy CLC also. I'm going to plant these first, harvest them, get some seeds out of them, and basically move my operations, my weed operations, to the cottage, where I have direct access to the bunker and the weed McGeed. Because I don't know if this tub here... I think it's only for the cottage that this little bathtub here is where you get access to the bunker. Like, this tub raises up to the ceiling or whatever. You drop down and boom, the bunker's below you. It's something like that, but I think it's only for the cottage and not the mobile home. So let's water this bad boy. Boom. Grow, baby. It's probably gonna take like a one in-game week to get this all grown up and start my cannabis operations. And just saying with the steering wheel, I kind of... I'm a bit tired looking at this white ass steering wheel with this bus steering wheel that I found in the Cali gas station in the back there. So let's see what happens when I paint it black. Okay. Let's try to like match it with, let's see. Pretty good enough, but less gloss. Oh, I don't have gloss remover. Crap. Hey, Antony. Or Ant- oh, that's Antony, the V6 swap dude. Yeah, he's got a V6 swap his car. And Felix. Uh, how's it going? Just update my sway bar. It's insane. Yeah, this freaking Miata clone. So, Anthony, sorry I got your name wrong. I'm gonna whoop everyone's ass. How's life? Uh, trail rust. My bad. So, Tom, what to do? I wanna spit on you. Press V to spit. You are really disgusting! Yo, look, Mike. You seen that? Um, I guess they did. I'm sorry. So, my ritual of spitting in, uh, Anthony's, uh, Tom's face. We'll go on as so, because I'm gonna beat your ass. Watch this. Little S curve. No problem. Gun on the straightaway. Into left. My guy is yawning. Chickens into a stop sign. You watch this. Boom! Give me a couple grand. Now we're at $6,071.48, but we're not finished just yet. It's midnight. My guy is slurring in French Canadian. Give me Luke. Give me Michael. Give me all that. Hey, Lucas, with that electric S14, or... 13? Yo, Luke. Look, I'm beating you off the line. What you gonna do, fool? What you gonna do? I'm past you right now, and, uh... Oh, jeez. He is still violently yawning. Can I bake it to... Michael, or Naw? And Luke, pay me. 25 seconds, 300 million, 253 milliseconds, and... Drift. All right, Mike, the last racer of the night. It's about an hour before they close up shop and game as it winds by so fast with this time and stop. Watch me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, wheel spin, wheel spin. Oh no, Mike's gonna get his revenge. I, how can I not trek a damn curb? Are you kidding me? It is a sports car. It should do its job and he's won. Loser! My grandma does her shopping faster than that. Uh, yeah, Michael, you bastard. Let me ram ya. Hey, Michael, you cheating bastard. I guess I should have done that front flip. I'm sorry. Can we cha exchange insurance information or nah? Well, I gotta sleep before I die, so... Till we do. Okay, before we depart to buy the cottage, let's fill this bad boy up to... Whoopsies, that's a dower and gas. That's pretty cheap. I'd say fill this bad boy up pretty much till it's full up in here, which I believe it's gonna be like a little over 20, 25 dollars up in here. Let's wait for the gas to rise up and do all that good stuff. So here's the gas rising up and not signing out, just like my channel outro line. $31.02 by filling this bad boy up from about a quarter of a tank to now a full tank.
Y'all feel me, Chakwas and Norman? I just filled my car for $31. Okay, he agrees with that. Norman, uh, Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. Awesome news. I just got the price back, but be prepared. You'll need to give me $70,000. They can start working on it right away once the payment is done. Broke ass. So to come up with $70,000 to donate to the racetrack up in here, this racetrack where it says sick in the bottom leftish portion of the screen of the map there, that's currently closed down where you gotta buy the track from Normandy to drive on the racetrack and all good stuff and do some, some sanctioned racing, not street racing, but just sanctioned racing and I believe Demolition Derby with that little demo car at the junkyard that I still haven't recovered to this day. And speaking of that, I forgot about this. Could you recover the car right here with the little wrecker or the tow truck right here? Okay, towing service, uh, let me sell. Yep, tow the vehicle for $99.99. So come back on the next day to get your vehicle. Thanks, bye. So tomorrow in game, which will be a Friday, we should get the car from the junkyard. Oh, uh, Willie Collie Stein, the car from the junkyard as a still uncontrollable wheel spin with the trash control settings at three or something like that. I'd say get the junkyard car, the demolition derby car in the junkyard, that pink looking like wannabe Shelby Cobra, but in a Ford Pinto chassis that's in the back at the junkyard, which you can use for demolition derbies and all that stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard to the frickin' pain train going off roading in my racing coding. Watch your anxiety meter. Look at that. It's already full already by just going 30 ish miles an hour around 60, 70 kilometers down the stretch of road. Damn, this is stupid. They know in hard mode is that in the anxiety beater, if it gets all the way full, you could die from being too anxious, which I think it equals in game is like dying from a heart attack or something like that. Rather than dying from too much maple syrup needs, too much poutine needs, or too much energy needs. You could die from your anxiety needs from going through the roof. So it should be to my right, I believe. Yep, here is the cottage for, like I said, in the intro with this number right here for $5,299.99. So here's proof as I roll forward. Don't, please. So cottage right here for sale and wait for it as I scream in the mic profusely with the to-do list. <laughs> And the freaking gate kept creaking as it was stuck in place as the car slowly inches forward with the e-brake pulled up. Are you serious, mate? Now we're rolling with the, well, technically it's a parking brake, pulled down. So look at, at the land here without the car being on, which is kind of funny. Uh, oh, we got this uphill, so let's just start the car. So we got these rolling hills and all these pine trees and birch trees littered all over the cottage's land up in here with the cottage just dead ahead. So let's see what it's like inside. So walk up the stairs, we got Engrass, the uh, sm small compost fertilizer machine and small manual compost box. Is this where you put it like the potatoes or something and make fertilizer, I believe? So can I get in? Um... Nope, unfortunately, I can't come in the compost box. Even if the lid goes through me. Alright, Mr. Door, and... Oh, here's the... Oh, here's the buggy parts. I think... And, uh, a 10-liter gas can. Okay. I think I'll run back to the house and do these parts right here. And on the insides, we got our stove here for... What? Burning my Wii? My evidence or whatever? Like, what's with the furnace? And handle. Damn. Bunker built by the dealers on the mainland, cancelled. God damn it, it's cancelled. So the bunker, well, to get access to the bunker, I believe we gotta go on the other side of town where, Jesus. Well, where it says continent, I believe there is a barn down the road where you gotta sell the Wii and get trust from the dealers and try to make this all happen, I believe. And lastly, you got a bed. Chill, I've just slept like a few hours ago in the car. Well, whatever. So let's get the buggy parts, both the engine and the drivetrain, I believe, both of them. Put that in the car as I do that. And head back to the mobile home. And also what did hit me at the junkyard here, I, I think I haven't even found this yet at the, uh, one of the Koenigs up here, which I think it's this one, where is it at? One of the Koenigs here, the, this wrecked one or the one further up? Is that there are, right here, a pair of off-road headlights that you could use on your Koenig. 
Like, if you want to make, like, a rally car build or something like that, let's see if my Parkinson self can drop this off without dropping this automatically. I mean, every rapper said this back in the day, in the 90s, 2000s, and still in the 2010s, roasting the former actor from Back to the Future. Just so they can get some sick bars, this and that going, which is pretty much the reality of hip-hop nowadays. Is you gotta, like, roast the living crap out of somebody, whether if it's true or not, just to make a hit music video, or, um... A hit album, or a single, this and that. And there's a radio. Where'd it go? And there's another radio. Cool. See, I'm finding all these radios, do they, like, respawn or something like that? Like, in the junkyard, so they're not, like, disappear completely once you pull them out or something? Because I just found four of them. Are, they, are there any more? Here's the fifth one, and also here's the Demolition Derby car that will be towed away soon. The 69 Le Missile. Alright, so I found as much radios as I can off this junkyard, except for the one that I accidentally threw in the bottom of the car that I can't cover. So let's head back to the house and install both of the driveline and the engine and fuel tank for the buggy and me profusely screaming to the to-do list, as I do with this game. Alright, here we are back home with everything, literally everything in my face. Can I get to the ignition? Thank you. And can I get out of here? Double thank you. So, drive line without dropping this bad boy. Can I eat this? Nope, I gotta just go. Yeah. Yeah! So, how many? Four out of six? What do I got missing for the last buggy? Well, engine and fuel tank, and... Yeah! yeah! So, that makes it five out of six. Oh, the seats. Where can I get the seats at? Ignition. Needs to be in neutral to start it. Let me get into neutral. Can I... Do this here or no? All right, Raymond. I got five radios. Are you here? Hell yeah, he is with that loud ass car as he spawns in. And good day, a living at night is just the best. Okay, here are my radios. I would have been making twelve hundred dollars instead of thousand dollars if I would have pulled the six radio without dropping it. So radio number one. Uh, the noise thinks. Oh, a dollar, a hundred ten per radio. Oh, sorry. I know it's two hundred dollars, so five hundred and fifty dollars we can get here instead of the six hundred and sixty dollars, as I thought I would be getting. So thanks, he says, and we're at a memeish number of one thousand three hundred thirty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. We're freaking elite. Okay, this dude's rap music's kind of weird. I heard about Cuban antidote, racial antidote. I got the cure for the antidote. I hate the color black. Yeah, you hate the color of this antidote, right, Felix? Nope. I've got the interior just like what he is right here. So, Antony, I got rust. Spring's hot this year, so let's get hot by racing against Tom yet again so I can get more money. So, Tom, kill me. I dare you. He doesn't care, and it's good to see me dead in the road. Well, it's not screwed us up like the race against Michael. Thank God it was against Michael, where it was a $50 bet and not this $1,000 bet against Tom. So, first gear, lefty, and we'll spin there. I get the freaking Ford Mustang and Lee's off. S curve. I think I'm good. I told you, 21 seconds, 2,086 most seconds, which is my best time so far. Hey, Luke, in that electric 180SX. I just jumped your car. Literally. I don't hear nothing. Luke, you look good today. <laughs> what are you st doing, stupid? Those shoes ain't fast enough. Boy, I got some Jordans, fool. What are you thinking, man? If I can whoop your asses in these shoes, man, what you talking about? See? I told ya. 24 seconds. I told ya. What you gonna do, fool? What you gonna do? Watch. Watch him drift. Nice. And the final race against Michael. I'm about to bust a can of whoop-ass stew on you by Craig McCracken, aka the guy behind the Powerpuff Girls, and I believe the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, the Cartoon Network shows from the 2000s. So, Michael, don't do this to me again. Watch. First gear. Second gear. Watch my throttle input as I busting that boy. Perfect. Told ya. 14 seconds, 5,846 milliseconds. Wow, big deal. You won, lucky guy. Watch him disappear. Watch. Nope. Uh, yes, he will disappear. <laughs> as he belts to the ground, just like that. So that'll do it with Mon Bazool. So after buying the cottage for a little over $5,000, I'd say it's not that bad of a start that we got going here for the weed operations and this and that for our start of it. So like I mentioned earlier in the video in regards to my future operations, I'm going to be saving enough money and saving enough of them joints and all that stuff to see if I can get some trust from the Bunker Boys up north 
so I can get a bunker going with this cottage so I can really be making a lot of money with my weed operations and this and that. So it's gonna take quite a bit of time doing so, but I'm still committed to doing all that stuff, I guess. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.